What is happening everyone? Welcome back to another video in my channel. So in today's video, we'll show you how to connect Zapier to Facebook conversion API. For the example, we'll be using this form on one of my websites. And essentially this strategy works for any website and any platform. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is to get to the events manager. The easiest way to get to it is through your ads manager. If you don't know how to find the ads manager, simply go ahead and Google Facebook ads manager, and then we'll click on the left side menu over here and either select events manager from here or click on all tools and then select events manager right from here. Now what we need to do is to click on our pixel that we want to connect. So we'll select this pixel over here and here you want to go ahead and click on partner integrations and here we'll click on the search bar and search for Zapier and we'll select it. And now let's go ahead and click on connect account. And essentially you have three different ways you can use Zapier and the conversion API of Facebook. You can send offline events, website events and events from your CRM. We'll start with setting up a website but you can essentially connect all of them if you want. So let's select website and hit next. And here we want to make sure it has selected the right pixel and hit next. You want to make sure you turn on authorize Zapier connection and hit next again. All right, perfect. And let's go ahead and click on finish. And now let's go back to Zapier again and we'll click on create zap. And over here, we'll click on the trigger and we'll select webhooks. And over here, the trigger event will be catch hook. So let's select it and hit continue. You can give it a name if you want, but I simply keep it as it is. So I'll hit continue. And essentially now we have this webhook URL. Now the reason why I selected webhook is because some platforms have direct integration with Zapier, some of them don't, but almost all platforms have an option to send information through a webhook URL. So now what we need to do is we need to copy this webhook URL and we need to paste it in the right place on our website. On WordPress and ClickFunnels for example, you will be pasting the webhook URL in the settings of the actual form. I'm using systemy.io so I will show you really quick how to go ahead and do it. So I'll click on automation rules and I will click add rule and here my trigger will be when a form has subscribed meaning the form has been submitted and the next action will be send webhook and here I'll paste my webhook URL and click on save rule and now essentially what will happen is that anytime someone will submit this form on my website the data from the form will be sent through this webhook which takes me to the next step which is testing the trigger so to run a test let's go ahead and fill out this form so type in the first name and this will be a test we'll do test email and lastly a test phone and hit send all right perfect and now let's go back to zapier and click on test trigger and there you go we got the record so let's click on it and as you can see it gives us information of the email the landing page the data source url and everything that we need so zapier has identified all the information that we sent so let's go ahead and click on continue with selected record and now what we need to do is we want to search for Facebook and we'll select Facebook conversions. And over here in the action event, I want to go ahead and select send lead event, but you can also send purchase event or other events if you want, or simply a lead update event. For example, moving it from lead to purchase. So I'll be selecting send lead event. And over here, this is where you actually connect your Facebook account. So I will hit reconnect to show you. So let's click on it. So we have this pop-up over here, simply ask us to log in with our Facebook profile. So let's hit continue. And now it's connected and let's Let's hit continue again over here this is where we're going to select all the info that we want to send back to Facebook so the action source over here will be website but you have different options over here like email phone call chat so let's go ahead and select website now over here in the business account this is where it asks us to select the business manager so let's click on it and we'll type in the name of the business manager and select it and now we need to go ahead and select our pixel or data set so this is the pixel that we set up and now let's scroll down and in the event time let's click on the plus icon and here we want to select the data that we got from the form and send it to Facebook as well so here for the date I will go ahead and click on created at and it will select it and then we'll click on event ID and over here what I can do is I can select data funnel step ID and click on it the event source URL if I have it over here I will go ahead and select it so I do have it over here data source URL so let's click on it test event this is not a test event so we'll not be selecting that data processing option country like all this is not really relevant to us now over here this is where we're going to add the contact information so email simply will select the right email phone number will select the phone number first name 
first name and last name will be last name if you also collect cd state zip code and stuff like that you can go ahead and select it the same way and lastly here in the external id let's click on the plus icon again and because we do have a contact id i will go ahead and select it this is only to make sure we don't have duplicate events so if you have an id i do suggest you to select it and the rest of the things that we have here is not really relevant to us so let's click on continue and now let's go ahead and test out the connection and make sure that zapier is actually sending the data back to facebook so let's click on test step and boom as you can see now we have this green check mark meaning everything is working you can click on data in and you can see all the data that we have sent to facebook and when you click in on data out facebook tells us that it got one event which is exactly what we sent and then you simply need to go ahead and click on publish so that is exactly how you connect zapier to facebook conversion api hopefully you took some value out of this video if you did make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already check out some other videos right over here thank you so much for watching guys and until the next one peace